you're here in the basement there by his house and we're looking at a furnace um, AC replacement uh, the furnace is actually located in a kind of a little utility closet kind of similar to like a apartment situation um, as far as that return drop is concerned it's a little bit of a pain to get to it's it's kind of drywalled on the back side and then we have a water heater as well I'm not sure if there's a liner down the chimney. I can't see a UL rating. That's oh, right, a UL sticker. There's evidence of a sleeve, so I'm going to have a look outside and see if we can see a cap uh, from the outside. So water heaters in there as well. You can see the back side here, um, and this return drop is right up against this um, this wall here. So um, I'd like to put in a wider filter just to help with the performance um, and really the only way to do that will be to come in from once we got the furnace out we could um, fit it in we got the width so we could either make a modification up the top here I've got that measurement and then fit in the uh, new filter which is probably what I'm going to recommend we do there is an isolating valve on the gas see the communication for the, I guess that's for the thermostat there. Electrics are in a um, conduit. It is a four inch uh, flue which we'll need to update. There's some signs of a little bit of corrosion on it, especially early on. And then the line set is kind of taken a long way to get to that, that corner. It looks like it's sized correctly. See where it's exiting. So I'll flush that and recharge it with the new refrigerant. Um, it is a walkout situation, you can see the door and that brings you up um, um, near the deck where I was out the back um, looking at the uh, condensing end. That's it.